So many beers, so little time. Good afternoon, my little Walworts. Uh, yeah, uh, it looks like we're gonna get some nasty weather. <laughs> Uh, I'm down here in Texas where you see the little, the little uh, red thing, but yeah, that storm looks like it's going all the way from here all the way to uh, Pennsylvania on into New York by the looks of it, so we're about to have some wicked weather. So, good thing that uh, I've caught up on uh, 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 my home brewing stuff. Uh, there's 25 gallons of beer in there. If y'all probably just seen my last video and heard the airlocks bubbling. Uh, I, I tricked it a little bit in the sense that uh, I cut out the gaps in between the bubbles and then, well, made it triplified. <laughs> but anyway, they're busy. Uh, yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have some time to edit and I'll show you what other brews I did. Uh, like I said, I've been taking some video and just haven't, uh, and haven't edit, edited any of it. Hmm. Okay, easy for me to say. So, but the wife, uh, yesterday, being the cool one that she is, uh, maybe she knew the weather. She's in cahoots with Mother Nature, maybe, and so she brought me some beer because she knew I was going to be stuck inside, listening to the, listening to the airlocks working. I haven't had even one beer today. I, I swear I'm stammering. Okay, let me show you what she got. Well, I'll show you what I got me, and then I'll show you what she got me. So the other day, uh, I went to the newest uh, market with the big K on there. It's a brand new one, so they had their beers pretty cheap. So I got the six pack of Build Your Owns. This is the Lognitas Maximus. I've never tried this. Uh, it's an 8.2. And uh, so like I said, I got the six pack, built my own six pack. Um, uh, actually, this is uh, out of a different one. This is the All Day IPA by Founders. Hopefully y'all can see that whatsoever. The lighting is kind of odd. This is like a, this is a sessionable one here. Actually, I drank one that was out of here. I just put that in a spot. I got a 12 pack of these. Woo and then, uh, got the new bed new Belgium triple I don't know if you've ever seen those or heard of them they had a whole slew of, uh, of yummy beers pardon my fingernails if they're dirty uh, I had some troubles with my truck and I had to uh, uh, actually it was just a light bulb <laughs> but you'd be surprised how dirty the, the underneath of that can get nevertheless this is a 8.5 percent beer um, uh, this one here is a local one from our area. It's called Southern Star, and this is the Winter Warmer. I think I've had this on draft. I kind of forget if I remember right. It's like a Mino Stout, 6.9% winter ale. And then moving on to, uh, no, this is local to our area. This is called Black Venom, and it's from, um, 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 it's from Copperhead Brewery. I knew that. Got a cool looking label. It's really hard to see on the camera though. I don't know if it's doing any justice. Anyway, Black Venom. And uh, this is an Imperial Stout with uh, dark brown sugar. I don't know the ABV on that one. Nevertheless, okay, moving along. Another cool label. Those guys, they're rocking on their labels. I like that one. I like the blue color to it. Pretty awesome. This is a 10.5% um, called uh, Medusa. Medusa, and I can't wait to get into it. I uh, want to say, oh, it's a Belgium style quadruple. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, those I found at the market, like I said, and I thought they were awesome. One that I usually get quite a bit, and I know y'all have seen me drinking them on the uh, on the live streams, is the St. Arnold's Art Car IPA that's uh, local here to Houston. And then my wife got me these things here. The art car, by, by, uh, uh, by the way, she gave me a 12 pack of those because I like them. These I've never seen whatsoever. These are all, the last four are going to be Sierra Nevada. Ooh, I get the box open. Okay, there are four different flavors, three of each. This is called the Flip Side Red IPA. Yeah, Red IPA. Okay, that ought to be interesting. Uh, this is a Flip Side as a 6.2 with 55 IBUs. We got a No Middle Ground Coffee IPA. Now that sounds interesting too. So it looks like I'm going to be stuck inside sampling some beers. Now I don't know if I'll do any reviews of them because I'm so crappy at the reviews. But uh, uh, anyway, I want to I drink them <laughs> slowly. <laughs> 6.9 and more. Whew. Especially the ones out of that six pack one, huh? Okay, and this is 50 IBUs and a 6.9. 
a um, couple more. Uh, this is uh, no good IPA. <laughs> well, no, oh no, no good like no K N O W. No good IPA. This is 6.2 percent. And these were these were bottled a few months ago. It's uh, uh, December 18th of 17, so it's not not too bad, I guess. It could be a little more fresh. Now, I've had the Torpedo before. This is the uh, Sierra Nevada Torpedo, but this is as a tropical IPA, a uh, tropical torpedo. <laughs> Never seen that one whatsoever, so these are all brand new to me, uh, with the exception of the uh, Art Car and the, uh, blah, 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 what's the other one? And the All Day IPA. The All Day IPA, I think it's, a, it's like a sessionable one. I hear the name all day. I think it's like a 4.2 or 3, you know, it's kind of low like that. Anyway, I just figured I'd jump on here while I could still get some time outside. Looks like that storm's coming in. So I am going to uh, try to find those other files and be able to make some more videos. At 6.5, I mean 6 minutes and 5 seconds. Uh, uh, and so I will get some more videos edited up for you and get them sent out. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I, I'm going to grow some more yeast. Um, uh, I got a, a, a fresh packet of yeast because I used all the other that I was building. And uh, so I'm going to feed them some DME this afternoon. And uh, I dehydrated a bunch of peppers yesterday uh, to, to grind up and do the uh, the jerky. So that's another inside project that I can, uh, they're already dehydrated. I just got to grind them up now and, and, and uh, you know, mix them up with some extra spices, some, some secret herbs and spices. And uh, uh, so, yeah, be able to make some more jerky pretty soon. Um, 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 I think that's it. I think that's I'm looking over that way, but that's something totally different. That's on the tipsy sprout side. Uh, uh, it's got things growing too. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I guess that's it. It's kind of looking gloomy out here already, and uh, so I'm gonna go hide inside with some cold beer. <laughs> uh, the weather besides that, when it comes to like temperature, it, it's, it's pretty damn nice out here actually. Uh, it is 71 degrees and. Uh, yeah, that storm, we're getting just the tail end of it, but it's it's headed far away. If you can see it or not. Anyway, all right, I'll catch up with you all later. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for coming by. Uh, may the force be with you. Love, peace, and funky vibes, and all that good stuff I always say. And I will see you next time, guys. Uh, uh, adios. <laughs>